When the Himalayas were just being born, the Great Smoky Mountains were already ancient. This most magical and beautiful North American rainforest contains a temperate climate and biodiversity unmatched by any area of its size in the world. It is the seed cradle for much of North America and is the origin of much of the water used by the American Southeast. For that reason, the Smoky Mountains have been designated by the United Nations as an international biosphere reserve. But along with its beauty and its unparalleled vistas and its magic, the Great Smoky Mountains have undergone many difficult times. The removal of the indigenous Cherokee population, the Civil War, extensive logging, and now having the most polluted air of all our national parks. Even with these issues, the Great Smoky Mountains have a wonderful and marvelous future ahead due to the natural resilience of the environment and our beautiful ecosystem, and also the many people who work tirelessly to protect this gem of North America. One of these efforts is the Earth Healing Stupa Project at Millarepa Retreat Center next to the National Park in Happy Valley, Tennessee. Hello, my name is Lama Karma, and I'm the director of Millarepa Retreat Center in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. I wanted to let you know about an exciting project we're in the midst of completing here, the Enlightenment Stupa. Under the direction of Lama Norla Rinpoche, the community of Millarepa Retreat Center has long aspired to build a stupa. The intention of this project is to create an anchor for the retreat center, a place of pilgrimage and refuge for those on the spiritual path, and a monument of peace and wisdom that anyone from any tradition can go to and visit for inspiration. It's also a gift to the land itself, a meeting point of ecological, social, and spiritual wisdom. Traditionally, stupas are like acupuncture needles in the body of the earth, opening blockage and restoring balance. But by beyond being a remedy, Stupas are like jewels offered to the earth, replenishing and enhancing the vitality and elements of an environment. So uh, the shape of stupa right from the uh, ground uh, all the way to the top, uh, then uh, all the qualities and the definition of a Buddha is uh, uh, represented by the shape of the stupa. In India and Tibet, stupas were built as reliquaries of positive energy, as objects of homage for the accumulation of merit, and as sources of balance to guard against natural disasters such as earthquakes and storms, and protective barriers of sanity and positive energy in the face of aggression and destruction. The construction of a stupa is a complete alchemical process in itself, a process of devoted effort in purification and enrichment and a completed stupa has a profound effect on anyone who comes in contact with it or sees it. The stupa contains a practice room for meditation and ritual, and the upper portions are filled with 100,000 smaller stupas, as well as texts, ritual objects, vases, and sacred objects. The smaller stupas are made by practitioners who have taken temporary monastic ordination. First, rolls of mantra that are tightly printed and dyed with saffron are rolled and wrapped in plastic. These are inserted into molds and filled with plaster. These finished stupas will be painted and assembled within the finished stupa itself. In the center of the stupa is a tree of life, which is a long cedar tree that is oriented in the stupa in the same way that it was growing in nature. This cedar tree, or life force tree, is wrapped in mantra and provides the center of the consecration of the stupa itself. The completed stupa will be consecrated by the masters of our lineage, including His Holiness the Karmapa, as well as Thay Sita Rinpoche and Lama Norla Rinpoche. Lama Norla Rinpoche speaks on the benefit of stupas. Uh, actually, a stupa with a good, proper measurement is made, then whoever sees it uh, will have a positive feeling. And uh, uh, wherever the stupa is, uh, there will be a positive uh, energy. Uh, but if there is uh, some kind of uh, uh, a physical entity which generates a positive uh, uh, energy, a positiveness, 
by being around it, by seeing it, uh, then uh, uh, we need uh, that. We've currently completed one-third of the construction of the Enlightenment Stupa and need your help to complete the remaining portions. It's estimated to cost around 300000 and our goal for this campaign is to bring us to the next level of completion. We are really excited to include a broader circle of participants in this project. And as it's said in the Buddhist scriptures, sponsoring or laying even one brick in the construction of the stupa is inconceivably meritorious. And to make things more fun and rewarding, we've collected a treasure trove of gifts for our backers in our many years of travel to India and Nepal, including stupas and statues specially filled by the monks at Sechen Monastery, consecrated by His Holiness the Karmapa and His Eminence Thai Sita Rinpoche, earth vases consecrated by Dodriptchen Rinpoche, amulets filled and blessed by Lama Norla Rinpoche, and malas and protection cords also blessed by His Holiness the Karmapa. Good energy, positive energy means so many things. Wisdom, knowledge, compassion, kindness, love, all these things. So uh, may Stupa uh, will benefit all of you. And uh, uh, Buddha bless you. Buddha bless you. Please join us in this project and donate now. You can visit us at mocd.org or send me an email at karma at mocd.org and we can talk about how you can come to Happy Valley and join in the construction. Thank you so much for your support.